Hey guys, it's Cami and David again. And for the record, I had the shirt on first. Whatever. Anyway, hey, we're here for another adventure. Adventure is out there. Oh, um, uh, that's from that movie with the with the house and the balloons. Yes, I think. Okay. Well, a worship song is out there. <laughs> Let's start with some praise and worship before we get to the next galactic mission.
Well, that song was an adventure all in itself. I'm out of breath. Yeah. What do you think this week's mission is about? Well, last week it was about God giving his disciples and all of us, his followers, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, let's see what the disciples do with it now. Galaxy One, do you read us? Oh, hey there. Welcome to EKSA Mission Control Room. We were just checking in with our team aboard the Galaxy One shuttle. This is Galaxy One, reading you loud and clear. Ready for some more space exploration fun? We need you to look into the New Testament book of Acts. We want you to know how the church grew from a small group of believers to becoming so big that it spans across the whole world. Also, we believe there is a big idea to be found as well. Think you are up to the task? Roger that, Mission Control. We hear your question and we will find an answer and a big idea. Over. Bring up Galaxy One interface. Our true story is found in Acts 2. Loading the information. After receiving the Holy Spirit, the believers studied what the apostles, the teachers of the early church, taught. They shared their lives together, ate together, and prayed together. Everybody was amazed at what God was doing. They were amazed when the apostles performed many wonders and signs. All the believers were together. They shared everything they had. They sold property and other things they owned. They gave to anyone who needed something. Their hearts were glad and sincere. They praised God. They were respected by all the people. Listen to this. Every day, the Lord added to their group those who were being saved. I think we have some important incoming information on the church. Let's pull it down for all to see. On it. Now get this. The church is not a building. The church is actually made up of all the people that love Jesus. You see, the church was started by a small group of people that loved Jesus and shared that love with others. They also loved each other learned together, worshiped together, and took care of each other. God helps us grow and take care of each other through the gift of the church. Mission Control, we have discovered the big idea, transmitting it down to earth. Today's big idea, God gives us the church. Over. Time to check in with the professor. Today's big idea, God gives us the church. Over. Time to check in with the professor. Let's go full speed ahead to some fun facts. Did you know that the moon is about one fourth of the size of the earth? Did you know that the sun is the closest star to the earth? It is so big, about a million earths could fit inside it. Do you know what day God created the sun and the moon? Day four. You can read all about it in Genesis 1. The next time you feel the light of the sun or look at the bright moon, remember that our awesome and loving God created those. Now, I think you are ready to do some more space exploration with one of our Galaxy One specialists. Hey guys, I'm the Trivia Specialist, and it's time to light up the sky with Star Trivia. Every time you answer a question correctly, a star will shine. After all the questions are answered, we will connect the stars to make a constellation. The believers studied together, ate together, and argued together, or prayed together. The believers studied together, ate together, and prayed together. Finish the sentence. The believers, everything they had, shared or kept. The believers shared everything that they had. How often did God add believers to the church? Every week or every day? God added believers to the church every day. The church is made up of people or a building. 
The church is made up of people that love Jesus. Way to shine bright. Mission Control, we're orbiting over Eastview Kids now and are ready for our memory verse uplink. Roger that. This is very important. Make sure you do not lose it. 10-4, no problemo. I will be very careful. Oh, hey there. I'm Galaxy One's memory verse specialist. Say the verse with me. Matthew 28, 19 through 20. So you must go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Oh no, we just hit an asteroid field. Fill in the blanks to shoot the asteroids out of the way to complete the memory verse. Matthew 28, 19 through 20. So you must go and make <coughs> disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the <coughs> Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And you can be sure that I am <coughs> always with you to the very end. You did it! Thanks for your help. Ready for some galactic fun? Then let's see what this shuttle can do. Follow me. Sit up nice and tall. Put your hands in the air and warp speed. Time to check in with Mission Control. Congratulations, Galaxy One, on a job well done today. Because of you, we now understand that God gives us the church. Remember today's big idea. God gives us the church. Whoa, the disciples did just as Jesus had told them before he left. You're right. Just like a memory verse, they went and told everyone, and I mean everyone, about the amazingness of Jesus. And when more and more people decided to follow Jesus, they formed groups like, like a church where they took care of each other and they followed Jesus together. Yeah, it's so cool. So God gave us the Holy Spirit and he gave us the church full of people to do life with. I feel like the disciples got after it with this mission Jesus left them with. But before I get too far ahead in our story, let's pause here and discuss some questions on the screen. Yeah, that's a great idea. So we'll catch you guys next week for another galactic adventure. Bum, 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 Ran out of breath there. I was hoping you were going to go for like 10 seconds. Yeah. I was like, keep on going.